That one ripped right center field. So much for settling into this game, Boog. No courtesy first pitch take right there. He was ready from the second he stepped into the box, got a pitch to hit, jumped all over it. I tell you what, that'll fire up the guys in your one in. As soon as that ball left his fingertips, it was trouble. Right on a platter, right down the heart of the new. As soon as that ball left his fingertips, it was trouble. Right on a platter, right down the heart of the plate. I'm sorry, but count a hitter is on high alert. This is what you live for to be in the dives. What a play! What I love about this swing is he stayed tall, allowed his hands to go directly to the baseball, letting that bat head get. from historic Fenway Park in Boston. The show brings you the opener of a big four-game weekend set. It's the Cleveland Guardians and the Boston Red Sox. And now, your 2000 First pitch coming your way next. Boston Red Sox. All right, just about set to go. And starting this one, Chris Sale and singing we were talking earlier about how he's doing a great job navigating through tough spots I've just been so impressed with when it seems like there's more pressure he's more calm and settles in he's done an incredible job with runners in scoring position most guys they get a little tight they start to aim the baseball but for some reason he gets looser the ball comes out of his hand with more life and he's able to wiggle off the hook of you know tough situations and get his team back in the dugout. Now, let's go get. Sale ready. There's the swing and a miss. This guy's got such a good sinker. As a hitter, you've got to look up in the zone. If you look down, you're going to be chasing stuff in the dirt. And Sale deals. Stays alive. On the ground, right side. One out in the top of the first. Hey, by the way, Chris. Yes, John. Happy birthday. Oh, thank you. Digging in is the switch inning outfielder, Emmanuel Paquez. The center fielder, number eight. Emmanuel. And nice and patient. Get your pitch. Swings through that one. 0 oh and 1. Well, the hitter shows the pitcher that he's willing to go after that pitch down in the zone. So perhaps he'll come back to it. Still try to get that ground ball double play. Sale delivers. Here comes the pitch. Runner breaks for second. Walls at first, one gone. Hey, drive that pitch, huh? Here you go. Next offering is foul back. That misses. One now two one break. and two. Hey, you got it. No one better. Let's go. Swing, and this one's bounced to the ground. Sale in a 1-2. That's inside. This guy's a fun guy to watch taking it bad. He just battles up there. He doesn't take a pitch off at all. Makes it so difficult on the pitchers out there. You can tell they get frustrated with how long it takes to put him away. Over to first, and he's safe. 
Top of the third, no score. Swing and a miss, struck him out. And how about Chris Sale locked in now? He came out of his mechanics there. Typically he likes to shoot the ball the other way, but that time, a little anxious. Stepping in, Emmanuel Paquez. A switch hitter batting right. Emmanuel Paquez. He swings and fouls one off. Some real good life going through the zone on that one. The big lefty turns, kicks, deals. Foul ball there. The next offering misses. And it's one and two. O2 2 fastball way out of the zone. I think he's trying to speed him up. Got to stay back. Off speed's probably coming. Come on, big guy. Hey, now. Fast next ball pitch ball. misses. Ball two. Chris Sale looking for that shutdown inning. Way, big guy. Nice Liner, ball. base hit. And that keeps the inning alive. Hey, way to get on. Keep it going. I could watch base hits like that one all day long, and so could every hitting coach in the league. Just a nice line drive into center field. The batter now, Jorge Polanco. All right, come on now. Let it fly. Steel. Run around the move. Ball, There's cool. a ball. Go to second. Out there. And the inning is over. Well, try to get in the scoring position, but a great catch and throw to end the inning. That's the way to pick up the pitcher. So the batting order turns over. Marcelo Meyer the up next for the Red five. Sox. Shortstop. Marcelo. Left-hand batter waits. Into center. Jaquez drifts towards it. He's got it, and that'll end the inning. So they pick up a run on two hits. No errors and a man left. Five innings complete. Back to the top of the lineup. Now it's the switch hitting outfielder, Emmanuel Jaquez, for the fourth time tonight. And the first pitch misses for ball one. At the belt and fires. Now a high fly ball out to left center. Verdugo drifts towards it. Makes the catch. And that's the inning. Seventh inning stretch time. It's the Red Sox two and the Guardians one. Another outing, another save. That's his 20th of the season, and this was a good example of why they rely on him so heavily in these close games. And your final, 3-1. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Shambi. We'll see you soon. So much for settling into this game, Boog. No courtesy first pitch take right there. He was ready from the second he stepped into the box, got a pitch to hit, jumped all over it. I tell you what, that'll fire up the guys in your one in.
as soon as that ball left his fingertips, it was trouble. Right on a platter, right down the heart of the new. As soon as that ball left his fingertips, it was trouble. Right on a platter, right down the heart of the plate. I'm sorry, but count a hitter is on high alert. This is what you live for to be in the dives. What a play! What I love about this swing is he stayed tall, allowed his hands to go directly to the baseball, letting that bat head get. From the hallowed grounds of Fenway Park, we've got baseball on the show. It's the Cleveland Guardians and the Boston Red Sox. First pitch coming your way next. Just about set to go now. And on the mound in this one, Mike Fultonavich. He's had his ups and downs in his career as his ERA is just over four. But this is a guy that's not afraid. He's going to take the ball. He's going to go out there and give it his best. All right, ready to get underway. Stepping up for the Guardians, Emmanuel Paquez. The center fielder, number eight. And a pitch. That misses. Oh, that and we're underway from Fenway. First pitch. Come on, kid. Get on for us. Here we go. This one chopped to first. And he grabs it foul. Hey, stay hot now. Here's a 1-1. One -one. In the air, left field. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And there's one away. So the Guardians lineup turns over. Emmanuel Paquez, the, the next to hit. It feels like we might be headed towards a rain delay if the weather doesn't ease up, Chris. Yeah, the umpire and crew are going to pay attention to how the weather is impacting this game. And the moment it becomes dangerous, I think, is the moment we'll be forced to take a break. Chang, the runner at first with one gone in the inning. Next offering upstairs. Pretty standard high O2 fastball right there. If you're smart, you'll look for something down in the zone, but not too far. Don't want to chase that breaking ball in the dirt. In the air to left center. Flashes the leather on the run and catch. And yeah, there's two away. Now batting. Designated hitter. Jorge Colosso. So in now for Cleveland, Emmanuel Paquez, a guy who makes an impact not just at the plate, but also in the field. First pitch, not close. It really feels like we might be running out of time before a rain delay is called. This rain is not letting up. Yeah, and if we do get a delay, the unfortunate thing is the clock's going to start ticking on these pitchers, and they won't be able to keep their arms warm forever if it's a long break and going to have to exit this game a little early. And it's fouled away. And a pitch. Swing and a miss. Chased it out of the zone. Well, pretty clear to me. He was trying to go deep right there. But you got to get a pitch that you can handle. Speed up and drive it, huh? One down. Base is empty. And now two and two. That's inside. Come on, big guy. Line of the pitch. Now this is in the air down the line. Verdugo under it. He makes the grab. Out number two. Now batting designated hitter Jorge Polanco. 
Here's the center fielder, Emmanuel Paquez. The center fielder, number eight, Emmanuel Paquez. First pitch oh, doesn't find the zone. Paxton deals. That well, misses the zone, play. and that's ball two. He's been raking in recent games, and a big reason why getting ahead in counts. He's been able to do that consistently, and you see the results. This one squared up down the left field line. If it's fair, it's gone. It's fair, and it is gone. Home run number 10 of the year, and they add a run. It's 4-2. Well, that one won't stay below the radar. That made a lot of noise. The pitcher knew as soon as that ball left his fingertips, it was trouble. Right on a platter, right down the heart of the plate. I'm sorry, but big league hitters don't miss that pitch. So the batting order turns over. Emmanuel Paquez digs in for the Guardians. Emmanuel. Hey, let's go, kid. What time, man? And first offering is fouled off. Yeah, you can do it. No one better. Start it up. And a pitch. That one fouled off. Hey, have a rip. Like you can. Yeah, you can do it. No one better. Come on. Next one misses. One and two to count. Well, he missed badly with that 0-2 fastball. Hitter has to understand. Probably wants to try to put him away with that pitch. So got to stay ready for it. Next offering is down low. And now it's filled up. At this point in the game, you cannot issue free passes. He's going to have to challenge this hitter. Hitter's got to be ready to swing it. Back to work. 3-2 now. Now fly ball to right center. Makes the grab on the run. That's out number two. Well, this was a tightly played game. Got a little of everything. Some timely hitting, runs on the board. Key pitching and defense in certain spots. Definitely a fun one to watch. And your final 4-2 for Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show. I'm John Chomby saying so long. center field so much for settling into this game boog no courtesy first pitch take right there he was ready from the second he stepped into the box got a pitch to hit jumped all over it. i tell you what that'll fire up the guys in your one in as soon as that ball left his fingertips it was trouble right on a platter right down the heart of her knew as soon as that ball left his fingertips it was trouble right on a platter right down the heart of the plate i'm sorry but count a hitter is on high alert this is what you live for to be in the dives what a play what I love about this swing is he stayed tall, allowed his hands to go directly to the baseball, letting that bat head get... Sunday afternoon, it's the Cleveland Guardians and the Boston Red Sox. And now, your 2000... And we'll be back for the first pitch right after this. Red Sox. 
just about to get underway and towing the slab for the Boston Red Sox in this one. Nick Tropiano. He finally picked up his first win of the season. Took him a few starts to get there, but now that you got that behind you, you can focus on moving things ahead. Looking for number two in this one. Ready for action from Fenway Park. Stepping up for the Guardians, Emmanuel Paquez. The pitch. And first offering is fouled off. First pitch. 136. The pitch. Strike two. The count. Oh, two. Hey, stay hot now. The wind of the pitch. Nope. Check swing, no appeal. Hey, stay hot. One ball, now, two huh? strikes, the count. Here's a one two on the ground right side over to Dahlbeck one up one down nice warm day here good baseball weather does that change anything Chris especially for the hitters absolutely you feel so much more comfortable at the here's Trevor Story now batting four the second baseman Trevor Story Plays the one here. Righty delivers. And that one is lifted in the air. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And that is the third out of the inning. On to the second from Fenway Park. It's the Red Sox one. Emmanuel Paquez digs in for the Guardians. The center fielder, number eight. Emmanuel Paquez. <laughs> and first offering is fouled off. The pitch. Check swing, no appeal, and it's a ball to strike. Hey, let her rip one time. One down, base is empty. Well struck, right field. That one's got a chance. And gone. He powers one out to right field, and we're level. It's 1-1. He came out of his shoes on that one, but managed to keep his mechanics intact long enough to get to the ball and through it, and it went a long way. Back here at Fenway Park, bottom of the inning, and stepping in for Boston, Tyler McDonough. Well, after putting up a nice inning on offense, got some runs across, this is where you look for the starter to go out there, have a shutdown inning. Don't give that other team any hope. Uh, you just hope that he dives and it gets by. And the tying runs at second base with a double. So the lineup flips over. Now, Emmanuel Paquez. Emmanuel. Wait for a good one. Paquez. Down the line towards the corner. Davis gliding to his right. Drops into the glove. Two down. Pretty good job on the mound in this one, Siggy. It feels like we've seen a lot of off-balance swings. Yeah, just one free pass, and uh, obviously he's not a big strikeout guy, but he gets soft contact, and he gets outs. Here's Bobby Dahlbeck. Now Pat, first baseman, Bobby Story on second. Casas on at first with nobody out.
in the air center field. Haquez should have this one. Puts the squeeze on that one. Grounder tags it second. Not in time. He's safe. Back to the top of the lineup. Now here is Emmanuel Haquez. Now these guys definitely looking for a big swing of the bat right here. Try to close that gap. But you know, at the very least, if you could find a way to manufacture that run from first, it feels like it's really important to getting back into this ball game. And he's down 0-2 as he swings through it. With two strikes, may see some movement over there at first base, trying to stay out of a double play here. Way inside, gets out of the way. I need you right here, kid. Drive something. Hard on the ground to first, and it's through for a hit. Well, that certainly feels good when you can win the at-bat after being down in the count, up against it with two strikes right there. Got the top of the ball a little bit, but not much. That was hit pretty hard through the infield, so I think he'll be happy with that swing. Definitely generated some good bat speed. Now a huge at-bat in this game coming up. Here you go now. Come on now. One time. Hey, one pitch right here. Come on now. Swing and a ball popped up and it drops in. Runner around third on his way to the plate. Row home, not in time. The run scores. And it's a one run game. Well, there you go. The RBI machine. Another clutch run scoring it back. Yeah, he's been so good in these situations. Call it clutch if you want, but his resume speaks for itself. First and second, no outs. Now it's Jose Ramirez. If you don't get ahead in the count, hey, you can fly, forget fly. about having any success against him. Hey, looking for yours now. Come on, kid. Runner Stop, edges away at second. Runners on the move. Takes it himself. Finally gets the first out here on the grounder. The first base. So two in scoring position with one out. Bobby Bradley digs in for the Guardians. Right here. Come on now. Here we go. Bradley waits. Got him! Huge strikeout there. Well, this is where the team aspect really comes into play on the offensive side of the game, right? I mean, missed opportunity to tie it up with the runner at third, one out, couldn't put the ball in play. So now it's time to pick him up. And that's where good teams, they go to. They operate on, on this man. level of next run, man up. That mentality is what causes them to win series, get into the postseason. That helps keep... And a swing and a miss. Inning over, and it could have been worse. A lot of adrenaline, we can see it right there. And sometimes you just got to let it out. That's an outstanding job of taking that, executing, and getting out of a tough inning. Now batting Jonathan Davis. Now batting the left fielder, Jonathan. Field two. Davis. Slice the other way. That's a base hit. Now he turns and heads for second. Not stopping. He's going for three. The relay throw. He's not stopping. On his way home. Throw home. He beats it. And they take a two-run lead. Well, they call it one of the most exciting plays in baseball for a reason, Boog. Always fun to see him inside the parker. And, man, he was flying out of the box. And I think that by the time he was getting the second, he had it in his mind to go all the way. That's just great hustle from start to finish. Back inside Fenway Park. And now the center fielder, Emmanuel Paquez. Well, hey, both sides equally as strong. So not a good time to try to turn him around with a relief pitcher and put him on the other side of the plate. 
Pitch misses inside. And that is ball one. Kella, he's known as a reliever that excels in really tough situations. Those high leverage spots. It seems like he's at his best in these situations. And obviously the ability to get the strikeout factors in. The next pitch misses. And it's 2-0. Yeah, there's certain guys that expect to come in and dominate, and they see the challenge, the battle, just a little bit differently. They trust their stuff, and they believe that... Drops in for a hit, couldn't run it down. Oh, the throw is wild. It's a double, third hit of the night for him. Drove that ball nicely, put a great swing on it, and it jumped off his bat. Kind of put it all together there, and he's rewarded with the double. Runner in scoring position, no outs. The batter now, Jorge Polanco. Pick off the second, Jaquez back in on a dive. The mental approach is a big factor too, isn't it? Yeah, Boog, it is. And you know, for each guy, it can be a little different. Some people consciously work on focusing, slowing things down, breathing techniques. And then there's some players that are just natural and they just seem to be more composed and less excitable. Up next to Cleveland, the third baseman, Jose Ramirez. One out, runner at second. Here's Jose Ramirez. A lot of times with relievers, they just like to get amped up and they're not really looking to try and slow it down, right? They're just trying to get hyper. Yeah, and perhaps make that hitter a little hyper and make him more aggressive. And that way, when they put a wrinkle, change speeds, he's out in front just a little bit. And it scored position with two away. And now it's Bobby Bradley. And just hacking like you used to. Yeah, kind of same, just better, like that, Bobby, yeah. And a 1-1. Swing and a ball popped up. And he'll put it away. Ball game. And the Red Sox take the finale and earn a split of this four-game series. Well, this was a tightly played game. Got a little of everything. Some timely hitting. Runs on the board. Key pitching and defense in certain spots. Definitely a fun one to watch.